Was there anything out there that's inspiring and uplifting to cheer us all up? Let's see. Imagine all the people. All right, stop right there. I'm going to tell you what's wrong with this one real quick. Hello, everyone. I am MechaRandom42. Holy shit, that's loud. The one, the only, the original. Your favorite YouTube harpy. I am without makeup today because Sarah Silverman's without makeup. And Gal Gadot's without makeup. And Kristen Wiig and every every other rich entitled, except, except for Linda Carter, but she is in her late, you know, 120s. So, but all of these other very, very well-to-do, affluent, very well taken care of, well stocked, mortgages paid, rich and famous celebrities got it in their little heads to go and sing how we should all learn to live together and do without things. And that's all well and good from their little rich piece of crap celebrity high horses looking down on all of us people from their entitled, entitled, very, very, very privileged lives. I, I need backup on this one. I need backup on this one. Rob, tell, tell them, tell them why this is a bad idea. <laughs> Who are you? Why are you here? <laughs> I, I'm Rob Robot Shlomo, Midnight Edge, Midnight Edge, After Dark, uh, and my own channel, Robot Shlomo. And I'm here with uh, Butt Scratcher in Hand. Because so, you are a huge Beatles fan. Know a lot more yeah, about them yeah, than I yeah, do. Yeah. yeah um, <sighs> and uh, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you. The whole idea is, um, you know, I don't doubt that their hearts are in the right place. But their heads up their own ass. I always say this. Your heart's in yeah. the right place. Your head's up your own ass. Right? You know, you, you can you can sit there from your little mansions with, you know, a year's supply of toilet paper in the closet, not having to worry about having to go to work and possibly you know, infect each other. You don't have to worry about having to go to work or else you don't have a place to live, right? You're not somebody like a GameStop employee or a yeah. Walmart worker or a yeah. hospital worker or somebody. You're not somebody whose well, job and livelihood yeah. is on the line because of all this stuff. Well, like, think, think school bus drivers, think... Uh, well, the, school, the schools are done. Uh, the schools are over, but, you know... Yeah, I you, mean, think, but think of those people. Think of those people that are... <sighs> are losing their livelihood and you know um gal gadot and uh, all you people so but sarah silverman i think you said yeah sarah silverman's in here kristen wiggs in here um you've got it pretty good so you might want to shut up on this one it's you, like yeah just, kristen fucking yeah. wait they they don't understand what regular people yeah it sucks no. to be stuck inside it really does it sucks to be stuck inside uh, i get that there's other more there's other stuff also underlying who, in all this who's who's hattie mchatterson here this is kristen wig well you uh, didn't see ghostbusters 2016 i think yeah, i'm gonna make you watch hate, it i don't hate myself enough to watch i think i'm gonna make you watch it because that's how i found you guys that's how i found midnight's edge was from but the, but the whole the, the whole thing is this listen listen you got it pretty good okay i mean do people Everyone in Hollywood's got it pretty good. Um, and, and this whole idea, and um, Gary over at Erotic said uh, one time, he says, Hollywood is a town that was built on cocaine uh, and dead hookers. Uh, and now that you're telling the rest of us how to live is absurd. It's deplorable. It's, it's just it's, it's, it's deplorable. It's like, oh, how so dare so you so tell so us how to live? That's Sarah Silverman, right? Yeah. How dare you tell us how to live? She looks like a librarian. What's like a... Well, know, see, that's why I want to go without makeup on this one, because all these other people are going without their makeup, because, I see, we're Sarah normal Silverman. people, too. Go I'm piss into Sarah. a Pringles can, Sarah Silverman. I saw that skit, and you're not funny. You're just trying to no. do men comedian humor, and you're not that funny, and you're not good at it, so... Uh, the one, I mean, let me tell you, Sarah Silverman... I don't know who the fuck this guy is. They made Jimmy they made Fallon. that footage of her at the video game awards go away. <laughs> but she went up there and says, 
uh, out there, you did, okay, gamers, I'm something called a woman, and you've never seen one before? I'm like, ha, 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 yeah. I've been playing video games since the fucking 80s, since before I even heard of Sarah Silverman, so I had an Atari she, sitting there. Girls have always played video games. I can go back and watch. There's a game show that used to comp- have people compete against video games against each other. I can't remember the name of it. You guys don't remember the name of it. And yeah, they had I, girls I on there all the time. Girls were on there all the time. She started, she started going, Call of Duty, you smell like duty. I'm like... Dude, fi- well, the twelve-year-olds can probably take her down a notch for playing Call of Duty because they can outswear. Her. <laughs> I've heard some language yeah. on that those type of games. Then the, the crowd started turning on her, and it was the first time I've ever seen a comedian on stage look scared. <laughs> That's because she's not funny. I don't know who this I one is. She, yeah. You got Jimmy Fallon here. Oh, Natalie, Natalie Portman. Oh, Natalie Portman. Say something yeah. About the Prequel sucked, and you got a snotty attitude. You need to eat and, something, and you need to shut up and get off your fucking high horse and stop telling me how and, to live my life, and Natalie. She, Thanks. And she, yeah, yeah. Try, try helping the rest of us, even though you, you can barely lift Milner. Yeah. Pl- you, you can barely <laughs> lift a, a, a plastic prop hammer. I don't know who this one is. Here. I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. See, now, but all you've done now, all you've done is made sure that Yoko Ono gets another three cent check into the into the coffers of these states. Well, the genre. problem with that, the problem with a lot of the the mythology around John Lennon, and I get it. He was a very iconic figure. He was very much a um, he was a cultural icon, very much so mm-hmm. in the he- peace movement, in the in the civil rights movement, in the hippie era. He did not practice what he preached either, and that's pro- possibly. Led to, I, I did though. I, I hate, I hate doing this. No, the guy shot him because you know he he found out that yeah, John Lennon was a bit of a hypocrite. Didn't practice what he preached, and mm. I'm absolutely not condoning that. The guy was an asshole. The, you know, the guy who killed Lennon, not a good guy. Yeah. We're not condoning that. We don't want to hurt any of these people. We just want to tell them, all right, now's not the time. People don't need the celebrities from privilege sitting in their ivory towers while while we got people getting stabbed over toilet paper at Walmart. We don't need that right now. We need you guys to kind of sit down, shut up, do something funny. Do something like Karen Gillan who got on and did some karaoke, you know? And that's, I think, what they kind of thought. But they picked something that is so insufferably preachy to do this. No, like, no, no, no. We need stupid distractions. We need people doing more, like, the the, the Pokemon on their head, which Pokemon are you sort of stuff, instead of this preachy, oh, let's stay together and... And I'm a millionaire, but I can wipe my ass with money for all, from, you know, I can wipe my ass with your tears with. <laughs> no, no, that's, that's one of the things though. I'm like, Hey, you know what? I'm, I'm pretty, uh, you have to come and you have to come from, a, from a place of, well, oh, as Will Ferrell. Okay. Yeah. But you get, you got You should be coming to from a place of, Hey, you know what? I've been pretty fortunate. I have a pretty good career going here. Uh, I, I'm not affected, but you know, I, I feel for the people who do. Mm-hmm. And you know, I'm sorry, everybody is um, second generation Hollywood royalty right there. Her mother did that song "Loving You," so Minnie Ripperton. She's second generation. I know music, but still, second generation yeah. Silver Spoon up her ass. Even though she was probably a little bit more raised like a hippie, because I've heard some of the Rotary it's... Connection stuff and their Rotary Connection stuff Sweetie. that they they did with Minnie Ripperton back in the day. Was, yeah. <laughs> she probably was it's... raised a little closer to how I was raised, to be honest. But still, it's, you're wealthy. Brie... Shut up. Is Brie in this? No, surprisingly, surprisingly, we actually have Wonder Woman. We have two versions of Wonder Woman. I don't know who I don't know who this guy is, but he's got. Uh, uh, is this Madonna's kid? He's got such a big gap uh, in his who, teeth. That's probably who, Madonna's who kid. Yeah, this is probably Madonna's kid right here. Who knows? Oh God. Uh, 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 <laughs> Damn, we're smooth. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, we're smooth. <laughs> That's- I just, I just hear I just hear Beavis and Butthead when I hear people starting to sing like that. But yeah, so so what uh the <clears throat> I'll trim here. What is trending? Says Gal Gadot's star-studded Imagine cover isn't quite having the attended effect. The Wonder Woman actor enlisted the help of other A-listers like Will Ferrell, Kristen Wiig, Zoe Kravitz to sing a cover of John Lennon's Imagine to inspire hope in people quarantined due to the you know what. Some, don't, however, far, view the video as tone deaf. Yeah, me. I don't me. need. I don't need hope. I need. I need someone to send me. Don't send me hope. Send me a pizza. 
Send me a pizza. Send me toilet paper. Pay my more. Uh, pay my rent. Pay, yeah. <laughs> pay my pay rent. Up. People need help paying their bills. Not they don't need hope. Yeah, people went out and bought, you know, and stocked up on shit, and then they forgot. Oh yeah, I still have to pay my bills now. So all that extra money from buying, you know. A year's worth of toilet paper well yeah no i didn't i didn't buy up that much i was just buying stuff you know like necessities like mountain dew zero caffeine <laughs> the substances i'm addicted to because you know i don't have a privileged life i've never had a privileged life and this is the stuff that people don't understand like i worked retail for 12 years straight i was working at macy's and Mervyn's and GameStop all at once. And, well, GameStop, my first and last night at GameStop got held up by gunpoint by three guys in masks. Yeah, you know what? I'm not even going to mention the nationality of them. I'll leave that to your imagination because it's not relevant to the conversation. But these three guys in masks come in, yeah. rock GameStop at gunpoint. First and last day there. I was making minimum wage there. I probably still have $20 coming to me from GameStop. They were, they were Dutch, weren't they? Can't trust <laughs> can't trust the dutch <laughs> oh and this is the thing they don't understand how yeah, privileged I mean, they have it and you know what? i got it pretty damn privileged too that's why i'm not out here preaching and telling you that's why i'm trying to do more entertaining shit like hey seth rogan got baked and watched so cats you know so, so, that type of stuff hey there's a butthole version of cats that might not exist now <sighs> Smoke weed every day. This is this is the type of stuff that I'm trying yeah, for is more yeah, distractions, I mean, and I don't need these rich people right now telling me anything because these are the same people who have been telling me that we're a bunch of ists and phobes if we don't get to see their movies, and not so much Gal Gadot. Mm -hmm. Like I said, their hearts are in the right places, but their heads are up their own asses on this one. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, you know, these people need help paying their bills. If they're out of work, facing great uncertainty, they don't need hope. They need they need to know where their next check is paychecks coming from yeah, they need to know they're not going to be out in the street if they they need help keeping they need help if they got sent home i see i see people online you know somebody was saying yes my roommate came home and lost both of their jobs today mm -hmm. i mean that's <sighs> this is like yeah. immediate stuff and yeah being hopeful and looking around and saying you know what we got it okay right now we got a roof overhead now yeah i got a roll of toilet paper in there right now stuff like that that's okay but mm -hmm. coming from I these people no I found some TP today. I found a pack of TP. They're limited to one pack per person. So. Yeah. Which is what they should so. have done in the first place. But a bunch of people decided, since they saw people in Japan buying all the toilet paper. Gimme, 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 gimme. <sighs> all right. Well, I, I haven't got much to say, say about this. I said, well, John, like I said, yeah, and for the people who are going to say that John Lennon was his... He was uh, he was a, he was a misogynist. He was a way he beat his... Like, yeah, okay, tell me something I don't know. Exactly, yeah. and that and that's another reason why picking a John Lennon song right now is problematic. Problematic best. And don't get me wrong, I like I like Lennon. I like Len Lennon you, and McCartney you, stuff, but don't bother me tooing John Lennon because everybody knows about everybody knows it. Everybody yeah, he treated his first wife horribly. Of course, he did. Yeah. You know, but there's a lot more. There's a lot more to this than just and and the whole the whole the whole message of imagine the, the whole the whole yes imagine mm. living without possessions and things it's like well imagine we don't no want to live in a yeah. dystopian future just yeah or is it uh, uh, imagine no possessions <laughs> yeah because you get kicked out of your house and you know. <laughs> We put on the street and all your shit gets robbed. Well, yeah, this is the go. same shit where people use I Will Always Love You, that song from The Bodyguard that that uh, Dolly Parton wrote that Whitney Houston sang. They use that as their wedding song, though, and it's really a breakup song. <laughs> yeah, this is the same type of people. Or people, yeah. uh, people use, like, like time to say goodbye at funerals, even though that's another breakup song. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. Well, the only thing now is Yoko Ono takes a, takes a break from... You know, fishing around every closet of the, of the Dakota, looking for something that John might have scribbled on, so she could sell. I, mean, I know, I know, there's something in here somewhere. She's saying, "I know." It's, oh, look, oh, look, a doodle. This has got to be worth something. She put up at auction. So, so yeah, just hearts in the right place. Head, get your head out of your ass, celebrities. Where you yeah, know, do something a little more fun. Do something like like some of the other people who are just out there trying to entertain yeah. us. Don't, don't, don't. Yeah, don't. I mean, you want to raise money, raise money for people who are, well, actually, yeah, there are a lot of places, a lot of states are calling on 
You got mm-hmm. some, you got extra stuff. Instead of singing, you know, if you're in a position of celebrity go, go. and privilege, send some toilet paper to, like, some elderly neighbor or something. Yeah. Of course, they probably don't have any because they're in all these gated communities in Hollywood. You know, go, go check on your, your high school teacher that that was important to you, your yeah. drama teacher. Somebody that you stepped go on on the way up. volunteer. Go volunteer at a soup kitchen. Go go donate. Go donate Donate, S- donate cleaning supplies, supplies to old age homes. Go donate yes. things like go that. Buy it on uh, Amazon. Pan- go donate to a food pantry. Go hand out supplies to in neighborhoods that might not have a, a, a supermarket or anywhere to buy the food deserts and, and you know wherever. I mean, there's a lot of stuff you could do. This just this is just you know it's laziness. Tacky. It's tacky, it's, it's tacky. lazy, it's privileged, is, it's selfish. Yeah. It's like, hey, I can get it's my name self, out there. It's self-indulgent. Oh, look, I made a difference. No, you haven't. And this is the same this is the same self, uh, like self-indulgence that they've been doing forever. This is the same crap with their We need more representation in the award show, like Natalie Portman for example, with her this her little amazing. Oscar dress where she wants We want all these women directors nominated even though I never hire any except the, that are me. You know, this is just more this, of the celebrity bullshit. This is to make this is to make themselves feel better. This is not to make anyone else feel better. This is to, just to make uh, Sarah Silverman and and Kristen Wiig and Maya and Maya Rudolph and Natalie Portman and Gal Gadot and everybody else associated with it. This is to make them to pat themselves on the back and say, "Look, I've made a difference without actually you actually doing anything. You haven't done a damn." thing who's that is this amy adams yeah she looks okay without makeup oh, okay right. I, I guess linda carter didn't pedro, get the message that's pedro pascal pedro Pascal, uh, it crowd guy what's his name yeah uh, that, Will Ferrell, Will Ferrell, mark, ruffalo. mark ruffalo somebody said sent me this a couple days ago and they're like is that alex kurtzman no that's that's mark ruffalo <laughs> i have no idea who this is i have no idea who that is cute uh, dog though the, don't know who you are don't, don't know who you are my rudolph my rudolph yeah. Gal Gadot, okay. Right, Jimmy it. Fallon's in this too, because of course he is. Yeah. I always say this always reminds me of when when uh, there was Sonic the Hedgehog guy. Yeah, Marston. James Marsden. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what this I, guy always, is. I always say this reminds me of like when Bono would would say, "We've all got to be responsible. We've all got a responsibility. We've all got to be responsible." And then he drives. We've got to be responsible with our money, man. We've got to give money from his private money. jet. And then and then he drives. A, you know, he drives a two hundred thousand dollar Maserati. Uh, no, it's not about my money. It's about your money. It's like, well, you got more than me, so you put your money where uh, your mouth is. Pay, pay no attention to the Italian sports car behind me. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. I, always, I, always tease, I always tease fans of his. Now, did he write this before or after he picked up his, his Maserati from the dealership? Yeah. <laughs> hey, I wrote a new song. There's, hey, that's a Lamborghini, man. Well, this is the same crap where people are like, oh, you're just bitching about Star Trek online. You should do something productive. Yeah, and, and you're just bitching about me bitching about Star Trek from your fucking mm-hmm. iPhone that you got th- from a factory where people have suicide nets in China to make for you. From your yeah, And you're wearing clothes that were made in an Indonesian sweatshop by people who make a chicken a week and, so, and yeah. like $4. There's a guy, there's a, there's a, a Dutch historian named Rutger Bregman. And he says about talks about all the celebrity philanthropy and this guy's giving that money, but no one ever talks about no one ever talks about is all these people paying their taxes, 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 taxes. Now when it comes time for them to pony up, oh whoa, 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 whoa you can't tax me, man. I hey, I made my money. Why shouldn't I keep it? I have made enough money to support myself by myself for the first time in my life, and I'm 41 this year, and I'm going to pay more taxes than I've made in years working retail this year. Like, I, I, the, the amount of tax that I owe is going to be more any, money than I made in my first year working retail. And for anyone who Let says, that sink in. Well, and for anyone who's going to say, well, why don't you just give the, why don't you just give this, write the government a check? No, it's not about writing the government a check. It's about fairness, because... All the stuff we're talking about, unemployment benefits and job and secure job security and social security and healthcare is, and-, and healthcare is paid for through taxes. These people you see on the screen, they're going to be the first ones to bitch about paying more taxes while they take it out of our pockets. And 
They're the ones that, oh, well, everybody, hang on, man. Don't don't worry, man. It's gonna be all right. No, up yours. Okay, this isn't this isn't this is about fairness. Okay. Yeah, up yours, because these people ha- can hire all of these accountants and everything. They probably spend more money avoiding paying taxes than I ha- than I will be paying in taxes this, this is, year. That's what this is about. You know, and I'm no fan. Listen, I'm not I'm no fan of I'm not I'm not a fan of paying taxes. But if we want things like roads and schools and gar- our trash, no, they're necessary. Up, we and need we need to be better different. all of us. Like if we can do anything, we can better all of us. Knock these rich assholes down a peg so they know that you know what there's other people out here. Guess what? Guess what? You're not gonna have a lot of people going to see your movies anytime yeah. soon. Nobody yeah, is going to see any movie anytime soon in a theater. Exactly. And you know what? When when we come back from this, and we and will, because we're resilient. We're human. We survive. We adapt. And- and when we come back from this, certain- we're going to remember everything that these people have been saying this past year. And we're going to remember how we've been treated by Hollywood, by Disney, by Disney especially. And, and a certain and a certain uh, comedian that said to me on Twitter that and said, oh, well, can we all just come together? And I said, you know, you have enough money that you're going to be all right. The rest of us aren't. Take a good hard look. The, oh, there's a lot of us that aren't going to be all right. And this crisis that we're going through that we cannot name shows you that so know your role and shut your hole exactly i am mega random 42 (laughs) i'm rob robot shlomo and i am incensed (laughs) and i'm pissed about these i'm tired of this shit i also just came off of watching picard and that's a video i'm gonna be making tonight all right see you guys later bye Button scratcher. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye!